Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome from my classroom to wherever you might be. I hope that you are also having a great Wednesday and have noticed the sun is out. And whenever the sun is out, it's instantly just got me feeling a little brighter inside my soul. And as you can tell, I have a big smile on my face. So today I also did something different when I woke up. I found a space just for me. I usually do this in the classroom, and you might not know this because I am there before everyone else, but I come into the classroom and before I set anything up, I find a really comfortable spot for me to sit. I close my eyes, I breathe, and I really prepare myself for the day. I think about all the challenges that I might face. I think about all the people that I might see. And that might be different for now because we're at home around the same people, but I'm sure you're connecting with others in different ways, just like us right now. And in the classroom, I kind of breathe and center myself. And that's something that really controls the way that I have an outlook on the day. So today I found a spot just like that. And I encourage you to do the same every day whether it is in your bedroom, whether it's in your kitchen or dining room or garage or wherever you can find a space where you can just be you, where you can breathe, where you can recognize your body. And that doesn't mean just looking at your fingers, that means really feeling your fingers. That means feeling your heartbeat. That means listening to your breaths and trying to understand what your body really needs. For me today, when I was taking those breaths, I knew that I needed good food. That's what I breathed in. I realized, Kyle, you don't have enough good food in your body. You gotta go downstairs, you gotta make yourself a good breakfast, you gotta put a banana into your body so you can have energy to have that smile all day long. And that's exactly what I did. So please, when you need that moment, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, absolutely whenever, when that house that you're in is maybe feeling a little bit crazy, find that spot, listen to your body, take those big breaths, okay? I know that you can do that. Next, when I was also breathing and thinking and reflecting about everything, I realized that all of my friends are home with their families. Everyone that I see each day in the classroom, everyone that I see really everywhere, everyone is pretty much home. And I started to think more about what we do in our classroom and the way that we treat each other and the way that we are respectful of our own bodies, of others, of our materials. And I got a little stressed thinking, oh my goodness, everyone may have forgotten what to do if there's a problem. How are we going to be able to help each other? So I wanted to just remind everyone of a few things. That just because you're at home doesn't mean you have to forget all of those great things that you've learned in school. And if someone has something that you really want, whether it's a brother or a sister or an adult or anyone that you might be with, always remember to use your words. Hey, can I have that when you're done? Can I have that next? Please, thank you. Hey, those are all things that are really going to be successful and actually make everyone have a little bit of a better day. All right, next, your hands. Your hands are not for solving those types of problems. All right, sometimes hands can be the first thing to interact. But remember, words first. And if your words don't work, find someone for help. And if you can't find anyone to have help you, make a different choice, okay? Maybe that's gonna be the time where you go and find that spot and breathe and relax your body and find your cozy place. Okay, those are all good things that you can do. Next, you know how we're always sitting around our meetings and our lunch table and our snack table and really whenever we are and when everyone is trying to talk at once, it can just get really loud and crazy and ah, yeah. So that could happen in your house too. But I want you to also remember, we can be respectful of each other's words. When someone's talking, 
whether it's an adult or a brother or a sister or anyone that you might be with, turn on those listening ears and wait for your turn. And figure out a way that you can do that with who's around you. Maybe like in our classroom, you could touch your nose if you want a talking turn, could raise your hand, or you could just really go over and hold someone's hand and that could be a symbol that you would like to have a talking turn next. All right, now everyone, please, if you need that time, if you need that space, that is okay. Take it, find a book, relax. And what you have up here is your imagination. And that imagination is gonna allow you to do countless things inside of your house. All right, so be creative. And I can't wait to hear all the fun things that you really are doing at home. Hope to see you later. Gonna read another book. Bye.